The experts, the seasoned professionals, those who've owned cats for at least a decade, that own the job training, it is invaluable. After a while, your cup will run over with knowledge, and that's the goal. And it's with that backdrop that today I'll share something that most people probably don't know when it comes to felines, at least with respect to novice cat ownership, first-time feline parents. In this material, I'll detail this odd thing and hopefully help to plant the seed, something that you'll know to be mindful of going forward, and depending on your cat's personality, something that could help you immensely when it comes to your pet's well-being and overall health. Interesting topic, and if you are a new owner, never having owned a cat before, this is something you'll want to file away as you navigate the road of feline ownership. I've got you covered. Stay tuned. And without any delay, this odd thing that I'd like to speak to you about today is purring. Your cat's purr and what it means, what it can mean. It's fair to say that if you know very little about cats in really any capacity, you know about those purrs. Dogs bark and cats purr. Some of the very first books we see as children depicts a dog barking and a cat purring. When it comes to the basics of life, dogs and cats are often front and center. When it comes to cats and purring, what do we say? What do we associate? The purr equals happiness. Happy cats purr. Cats that are upset or angry, they do nothing. No sounds and no vibrations. The purr is like a dog wagging its tail. It's a good thing. From a young age, that's what we're told. Well, all of that now brings us to the present. And if you are a brand new cat owner, getting your feet wet with the ownership experience the odd thing that I have for you today is that cats purring can mean a number of things. And happiness, an expression of your pet's own contentment, is but one expression, but one main role in terms of what purring can truly convey, what the act of purring is truly meant for, and meant to accomplish. Think of it this way, laughter, our laughter, my laughter, your laughter. What's the first association? Happiness? Good times? Something is funny? Well, all very true. However, have you ever laughed when you were anxious and afraid? Laughed during your worst moments, perhaps? Nervous laughter is simply a way to push yourself through something difficult. Laughing as a way to break the tension in the air, the tension that you were carrying. Not all purrs are created equal. Let's now talk about what that really means and could mean for you as an owner. The purr as a self-soother. In short, these occur when a cat is attempting to put on a brave face. Instead of purring due to contentment, the cat is attempting to get to that level, calming down in an effort to reach a relaxed state. Think of it as your cat giving themselves a bit of an internal pep talk. If your cat is stressed and upset, purring to self-soothe could be the result. Fireworks outside during a holiday, severe thunderstorm, strangers in the home, perhaps a crew is out working on your air conditioner or fixing an appliance, Sometimes, right there at the heart of the stress is that purr machine. With respect to the visual, what you could see is the look of a happy cat, a content cat, just resting on your sofa, purring away. However, internally, there could be quite the struggle going on. What's that old expression? Fake it until you make it. Many times when cats purr in an effort to self-soothe, the cat really isn't in a state of peace at all. They're simply trying to get to that point, trying to achieve it. Has your cat sustained a minor injury, perhaps been involved in an altercation with a cat next door. It's not uncommon for cats to purr as a way to promote healing. Purring, I mentioned how it's a self-soother. Some cats can use it for therapy to recover from injury. So if your cat is indeed a bit banged up and it's quite visually obvious, don't be shocked to hear your cat in what seems like more of a moment of contentment. In actuality, your cat has turned on the self-healers via the frequency of their very own purrs. I remember several years ago now, one of my cats, he was outside roaming around and having what seemed to be a good time, but when it came time to bring him inside, I noticed his left front paw was quite swollen, severely swollen. He snapped at me a bit when I attempted to touch it, but as I was holding him, I did notice that he was purring, swollen foot and all, and purring. In that moment, it was apparent that he was attempting to calm himself down, relieve his anxiety, but also attempt to reduce his own pain and make himself 
feel just a bit better. Transitioning out of the self-soother and healing, what about purring as a form of communication? Purring in replace of meowing? Well, at least to some degree. Felines, especially young cats, many times they use those purrs to speak to those around them. Mainly mama cat, some purrs are a bit louder than others, some much deeper. In addition to purring during those happy times, the longer you know your cat, the more you could potentially be able to keep an ear out for the changes in your cat's purrs. This could tip you off to other reasons for your cat's purring behavior. Is your cat happy or are they sick? If you know that your cat's purrs during all seasons and for all reasons, similar to your cat's meows, you might be able to get an idea of what your cat's trying to convey to you simply based on the pitch and the tone of the purr. To the wonderful audience of Senior Cat Wellness, your cat's purrs, is this one odd thing something that you've always known about or was it something you had to learn over the years? Or did you just learn it today? How expressive is your cat with the purrs? Is that purr machine on almost all the time or does your cat only purr sporadically? If the purrs are a bit on the rare side, have you found that you're more keen to them because they're so rare? One of my cats, my female cat, she is always purring, quite the opposite of the rarity. It's virtually non-stop, and that's great, at least on a surface level, but it does make it more difficult to interpret how she really feels. Granted, I've owned her since she was a mere weeks old, just mere weeks old, but it can be hard to know exactly what has influenced these purrs at any given time. Is she happy or feeling a bit sour? To that question, if others share it, if your cat, if your cat is indeed always purring, I would ask that you monitor your cat's overall behavior, taking that big picture and don't be really, don't be fooled by the purrs. Don't hear them and just assume that everything is fine, especially if your cat appears to be acting anything but fine. If your cat is always purring, take stock. You know your cat, you know what's normal. If those purrs just aren't lining up with what your cat is presenting in terms of behavior, something could be wrong. Now, before I close things out, I want to make things clear that purring, it's still what you think it is. The core of it all doesn't really change. For most cats, the overwhelming majority of felines, the purr, it does mean contentment. I'd say nine times out of ten, a purring cat is very much a happy cat. However, if you are new to the feline world, the feline experience, and cat ownership, it's important to know that not all purrs are a sign of happiness all the time. It's just something to know, something to have in your mental files as you travel down the road of ownership being keen to the small details, the little things. It's really what helps you as a cat owner long term, and it's what can help you the most with respect to relating to your pet and understanding their wants and their needs. And once again, to the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, what are your thoughts on this topic? Your comments and personal stories are encouraged in that comment section. As always, it's all yours. And if you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.